Doi Kittens against G. Semi final. What are they gonna first pick? The Tyranitas open, Umbreon is open, Trevenant is open, but we go for Sylveon. It's just like a Trevenant Umbreon here? Or did they just skip Blissey? They just skip Blissey, okay. And then on the other side, Neither team wants to commit to a Trenata. Could be a last pick, Enge, depending on what they have. Extremely strong Umbreon. Umbreon makes it sometimes first bang, Trevenant's still not picked. There we go. Uh, Hoopa secured. They don't want to show anything. It's going to pick Hoopa here to just be able to counter pick potentially. Well as pick up the safe support. The safe support. And this is something else they really want, but I don't know what that yeah, could be. I mean, Krem. Why are people not picking Krem every game? I swear. <laughs> is it just me or like should it just be picked? They get Krem and Blaziken. Oof. Now she is going to be locking in all four of their Pokemon. We have Blaziken and Cramorant going in. I don't know if we what do we do now, Podoy Kittens? What are we doing? So far. A lot of what are we doing? A Just no Garchomp, please. Espeon Gyarados. And, the Gyarados and again, we go Kittens for the Mioscarada. I mean, this game, it looks quite good, I guess. Espeon Sylveon. Yeah. Strong. Especially now the fact that we've got the I don't like the espions anymore too much, I gotta say. Final stretch, crowd popping what do we expect here? SG I mean, again, I think G Geo should just stomp well Doi Kittens. I don't want to be anything, but uh, and not what I, I feel like G should just that have a clean to zero here. But you never know. You never know. I want, I want Doi Kittens. I mean, I don't do I want Doi Kittens to win. I don't know. I, I, I would be, would be fun. I'm not a hater. As we have banned, so trying to clear that's just, they can fill up that effort gauge and that's just how it should be looking at the players, right? Already the Whirlpool coming into play, doing a lot of and the experience the and all that stuff. Of course, she's gonna be able to help clear out this neutral exp very, very quickly. Not a hater, sure to be able to uh, kind of steal all of Not that, a away hater. From that magic carp, make sure that they get that super slow. Game. I'm, I'm here for information. Area from Zealot, which I'm here for, I, really don't need I don't know what I'm here for. What am I here for? In fact, I, why, why are you guys watching? We're not gonna see it even go I'm curious. Why, why, why are you guys even here? Yeah, oh, what are we here? Now that they have the blue buff and are that much closer to me, Oh, well, my quite analysis, right? For deep heart hitting analysis. Air slash damage from Black to try to steal as much as they possibly can. Slash making the long rotation up as well. It's quite a bit of and damage. Magikarp hunting. If they can get that Making fun of Garchomps and Scythus. Unfortunately, Umbreon, a very tough and one to KO when you're only doing <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Damage. Oh, why are you guys watching? I'm good at that. Right here as well. Kramer, when you have Whirlpool, one of the best at defending gold zones in the entire game. There's so many multi hits. Eccentric crisis. I'm here for the license. But if you're here for the license, you're in the wrong stream, buddy. Okay, we get a nice KO right here. Let's KO on the Muscarada. Huge. You're in the wrong stream if you want to have your license. Now, this is an interesting matchup. Obviously, Slash has played both defender and support at the top of competitive play. That boy, Muck, changed. Roles to Dead the boy Mark. What the triple so astonish done? Mismatch in terms of experience. Slowing down the rotation, Muck making uh, putting uh, the fire of the G. Path. Making them really slow down, that was crazy. The turn is completely ignored the Swift. Vicious lost one viewer, yep. Going to immediately 7. be a threat, especially backed up by a Hoopa. You are already going to have to be scared. I say Waterfall is better this game. I, you might say whatever you want. Waterfall would be uh, better this game. I'm saying it. Bounce overrated. But they might have a chance to chase a KO. Meowskarada clone goes down. Waterfall. Firepower for anything else. Huge overheat being charged in the center tall grass and does manage to catch one member, at least just getting a big chunk of damage. Wasn't able to get any KOs, but at least going to force them into a reset. And everybody else from G is going to be prioritizing this. I think it's good if G just like plays around points. Because if you're the weaker team and you're behind in points in late game, I feel like it's very difficult to win. Because you, you have to have very good late game if you're behind in points, right? Okay. 
down any pushes onto their bottom tier goal zone. I don't believe they have any vision on where Zealot is, though, so they do not know. Uh, like, is a wonderful good here? I feel like it is. Cap, but, at least they are but maybe he gets stunned out of double team stun too easily. I don't know. We've seen a decent amount of back caps from Zealot on this Meow Skarada. I mean, obviously, it is a speedster and it can be a little bit. Make tricky, it bounce. Still a very scary thing what was that? that was about, what was that? But, oh, I think he tried to charge it up, but misclicked. That was a blade can eject button. They're going forward. Can they go for Garados? Garados goes down. Especially with the rotations from the Hoopa. They're immediately going to get the KO on uh -huh. the dude. Looking for one more. Okay. Get handled. What is she so doing? She takes a KO streak at two, and the chat gets involved as well. That is what happens when you have such a successful bottom path in the early parts of the game. not anything, though. Maybe Trevenant at least. Great play by just getting up in the face of that Bramorant and allowing the rest of the team to retreat. They, they, Everybody is what? able to make it goes down. And Bramorant goes down. Black CH knocked out, and Sobe just keeps cooking nice touch away from the Blizz assistance. Big Phantom Force as well, hitting multiple, getting those shields, getting that damage. And, uh, it okay. Does look like maybe we're going to have to start looking towards a reset. But okay, so G is uh, uh, maybe nervous. The they managed yeah. to ban out a lot of Unites. They got a lot of experience. Uh, built themselves a Umbreon lot of Unite? What is... Well, as you can see, uh, uh, G? Doing its own thing a little bit lower. And Slash? Just keep going back and forth. The mobility, I feel, of Koopa, obviously always really good. But there it's really being uh, used very well in this matchup so far. Slash? Yeah, we are talking about the defense of the goal zone. I mean, so what, what is he doing this game? Mm -hmm. Chad does not get the portal down in time. You see all of the UL kittens hovering around that goal zone, <laughs> hoping that they could transfer towards the top side. They will not be able to do but that. But they say at a point now, now they can have a Jaleki. They can try to push it in, maybe. I mean, that begins Trevenant, so probably not. But they can go for bot, bot will push. Yeah, they're basically just trading objectives once again. Just go bot will push. Hoopa and Bounce. They're just forcing a fight up here. Okay. Now that is not right, is it? Like, is that real? Is that real? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm I... not gonna risk it. Hmm. Uh, doesn't look like too. Okay, never mind. There we go. Very final moment. They all went through there. That is like within the final. Now they just have a free bot goal. Portal, but they wanted to get as much as they possibly could before they went. Okay, back I guess super bond. bond. So, I mean, super bond exists. Again, They're diving like top and stuff. That's also fine. Too far apart. This is gonna be big. Sivion stops cap. Nice. Of points going in, and we're probably gonna Huge. break this zone. Big over cap. Huge overdump. Thirty-eight points going in for TOL kittens, and now they are holding onto the lead. I do like that nice, play nice, called nice. the hyperspace hole. By the way, the the Hoopa Unite move. However, it was just really early. Like, normally, you yeah. do that to take the bottom objective, then immediately port to the other side. It still works out in DOL Kitten's favor, though. G just able to break the bottom to your goal zone because of it. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen everybody go through a portal in like the literal last half second of it, but uh, it worked out. You know, they got their timing, and hey, now you get a little bit uh, faster recharge if you use it earlier, but uh, they didn't make it work. A nice chase on a KO. That was a <laughs> Did you see Sylvia just I look at Trevenant? You're just two people chasing down one. You wanted to use that Unite. Just make sure it happens, and uh, I mean, hey, you get the KO. We're at 3 minutes 30. You might not get another chance. So I it's like, what, bro? What is that, man? That was my yeah, KO yeah, as well. So what, yeah, what are you, sure what are you doing, man? That if you can, and a KO absolutely worth it. OG does get a ton of damage. Why are you doing? Night moves taken out. Zella is going in. Blitz assistance chasing down that Miascarada. And now Sobe just has to avoid. Huge Gyarados Unite move though. Banzo popping up. Unstoppable okay. with that bounce as well. And a KO streak of two for the DOL Ekins. OG trying to turn things around. I'm disappointed by G. Like, Big what? push by Muck though on the Trevenant. And that is four what is she members doing? down for G. And a KO streak of three for the Gyarados. Oh my. And one of the best combinations is bounce Gyarados with Hoopa because they can just kind of sit there get the unstoppable bounce through to... Uh, Get the heals, get the reset, then they're gonna. Gee, you're playing against the banana. But the old kittens. I was talking about this in their last set. They are such a strong team fight team. You're playing against the banana. So so much. And that was one of the first. Come on, lock in. It looked amazing. One more time, we're going three for three. You're playing against the banana. This guy's playing on stage with the banana. Yeah. And he doesn't even care. He's just there for it. He's there for the experience. Exactly. I'm a prophet. Yeah, they're flipping sides, by the way, too. So this is going to be <laughs> DOL Kittens favoring the Reggie Electra. He's, the he's just having fun. And G he's getting gapped by a banana. Again, for the first time okay, but Krem number 13, Blazik in 13. I mean, this game is so still very even, of course. I don't know if it's even, necessarily super strong into anything that DOL Kittens is bringing mm -hmm. to the table. Gyarados able to just shred HP so fast. I don't really know how relevant it will be, but the experience definitely beneficial. Cramorant, Meowth and Blaziken all boasting a level 13. Damage carries for DOL Kittens, though. 
keeping pace. Now, I'd expect maybe a Hoopa Unite to get back if they really want to get out of this situation. Uh, uh, but right now, they're just taking the one. Yes, the Unite. Using the Unite for the one How about he? Mm, awkward, the awkward, awkward, awkward. Not gonna be using but they do have a nice lead now in points, I definitely. Mean, they used a Unite, I guess. It just yeah. ended up being the Gyarados one. That's huge, though, because that's been giving so much mileage for them as far as the initiations. Yeah, I mean, you sort of forced that Unite move out. Great work by OG to chase down the bounce. Knew they couldn't make it over the wall and really punishes that play. Great pull on Muck, who comes back through the portal. They are able to horn the Oh, the Kremlin is huge on the oh, left side, but do they have enough damage? Huge by what? They see the Bliss the assistant, not use Ambion, because has gone. What just happened? Engagement. Zella trying to turn things around. OG still up in this fight. Has totally recalled There's back to base. Rayquaza only about half HP. That's so combo. Blaziken is, Blaziken is around. 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 Oh, no way. that is heartbreaking for kittens. Ah, that is so sad. That is so sad. But oh, G can't be happy with this, exactly I feel like. what a Blaziken needs to do in that situation. Perfect timing on the stance change. Stands right yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not a good game by G. Definitely not. Oh, that is so unfortunate for kittens, man. Oh, that is so sad. No DOL for it, you for they it, you just locked in the save lie. They locked it in, guys. They just locked in the save lie. Nah. I'm sure he went sky high. Yeah, nah, so they looked in the saver. Uh, <laughs> no, this time, though. No. Yeah, this is a little okay. bit much, uh, but okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it the banana <laughs> playing Sableye? Of course it is, right? Choice in the last game, so I totally get it. Is it the banana? Well. Uh, so is Espeon, like you mentioned. Banana Sableye player? So incredibly good. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, it's also going to work out with this kind of like early game. Of course, man, of course, style. banana. Be able to back up some of the annoyance, I think, from this Good one. Sableye. Okay, so if you're playing double mage with no healer locked in so far, of course, Muck can okay. use that wish healer. But we need some... We okay, we go zero healer. Say, but uh, defender, yeah, we go Espion Gado yeah. without backline? Okay, they go Muscarada. They run back Muscarada. Okay, I don't know if I believe in this, though. I don't know why they go double attacker with it. Alright, guess I'm gonna remove my webcam and I'm just gonna eat while I still talk, okay? Alright? Just so you know. So make some noise, NAIC! Make some noise! face off against G. Okay. Yeah. So well, again, it, uh, they were in control of that last game. They absolutely were, but the clutch factor was just too much from OG. So it yeah, G disappointed like me though. I thought they would long. just like crush them absolutely, the but no. Are, clutch it out just a little bit, things will go well. But of course, they're pretty bad last game. game. Always when there's a Sableye on screen. Oh, of course, yeah. Chad rocking the sparkle spray as mm -hmm. well. Effect on the Hollower, looking so pretty in that Jester style. Wow, I just can't look away. I think Chad's actually had the most sparkle spray of the day. We need that from our stats team, please. I think that was Spraggles, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably he is in real life. Uh, but you look at this, actually playing a what little bit. What is Sableye doing? I don't know. On that Sableye, stopping uh, the aggression here from this pre tree. Yeah, actually, interesting note about G's composition. Three Pokemon are running stacking items. So even the Trevenant, the Defender play from Slash, will be rocking that Aeos cookie. Some players prefer the early shielding of Resident Guard. Some players prefer the higher maximum HP pool of the Aeos cookie. Hey, what bit is he going, Slash I guess? Going Probably, really it has to be knockoff yeah, confused, right? right? Aeos cookie has been doing really well on a lot of Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Even Pokemon that we don't expect quite as much recently. But, uh, of course, they're going to be fighting for all the Altaria. Didn't seem like too much of the experience went to DOL Kittens. But, of course, I mean, there's four. Well, like the team's just they're ignoring Taranta. And once again, oh, we are going to see no a Tita. lot of usage out of the hoop. But this time from the other side, though. Okay, DOL Kittens doing this play <clears> with <throat> pull off and bite G hmm? onto their goal zone and then try to punish as quickly as they can. Having a tough time KOing Zealot. However, we do have the KO to the Mew. And now the Mouscarada goes down next. So DOL Kittens with a very good counter punch in this early game. They are going to need it. They got to take some, I feel like, momentum, right? I mean, especially if you're using Sableye. I always say this. If you're using Sableye, of course, they get the little defensive KO. But if you're using Sableye, you kind of have to be winning from the first moment of the game. He has anti-healing. The two-minute mark. Otherwise, yeah. it's I mean, not really okay, yeah. Right now, we are going for a little bit of invasion. Did manage to steal away that blue Oh, that Moonblast missed great. by so much. Holy. On that. Let's sell it, get away. Obviously, very hard to lock down. But at the very <clears> minimum, <throat> still some of that EXP. Of course, yeah, those early moments are so important, especially as we move towards our bigger team fights that tend to begin around that seven minute mark. At least we tend to see a 4v4 at most of those situations. That is Chris Cam, I'm currently eating dinner. A little bit of a portal.
little, so. a little later, but a little too late. Yeah, just I'm still here though. I'm here. Trying to not be in the bad just circle, having food. In the good circle yeah. instead, and unfortunately it was all the bad circle right there. Uh, right now though, uh, they're chasing down the user of that bad circle, that Umbreon, uh, gonna land the wood hammer. But again, that's kind of the target that you want to. I mean, Moonblast into Blaze. It can be Scarada. Is pretty. Uh, a great hallway, by the way. Pretty also good, eh? Spray. Uh, that is gonna be so so scary. You don't want to get anywhere close because now one mean look and you are done. A rare misstep from Slash there to actually eject button in with the wood hammer stun, but there was no damage to really back them up in that a spot. A rare mistake that we see last Slash game, what Slash did? What was I mean, like... Away. It's a pretty tough one to lose. Slash is not locked in. We are getting a lot of scores in on that top side. Is, is Reggie likely going to be that more threatening? Obviously, against a Sableye composition, you really want to play for your score line. You do not want Sableye to uh, amp up a lead that is already getting ridiculous. Do you, you think he's trying too hard? They Maybe. Are trying to scale a Gardevoir at the same time, and that is going to be a big Reggie secure on the bottom side to help do that job. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about the D.O.L. Kittens comp is that I feel like when we usually see Sableye, it's along with a lot of other early game Pokemon, but uh, specifically like seeing a more later game like Talonflame and the Gardevoir is going to be really strong, not as much early game. So it's, a, it's an interesting comp. Oh, 100%. Now, okay, some more stacks going in. Egnub is going to go down uh, for it, so uh, very aggressive. I, I feel like Jig is inting so much in the series so far. Out. And now it is just Again, like, we are going in one with Slash, hello! So threatening at any given time. G has to play uh, Slash? spread out whenever they know Gardevoir has it. And thanks to some, not the most so recent, recently my son. recent balance patch, that Gardevoir can He goes in one with four. Yeah, only like four months ago, pretty recent. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't remember exactly how recent. But yeah, you can use right. it so much. Uh, and we've seen a lot of good, really <coughs> strong ones used. Last uh, game as well. He was just uh, one v four the entire game ball, somehow. You're not really caring about all that much. Oh. Solaire tried to get the combo, but that little bit of a knockback from it, Solaire is a little bit weird to. He's uh, not beating the allegations. It's always directly <laughs> outwards, right? So it's just a little bit off angle. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure they clean up the job themselves though on that oh boy. sword power Espeon. One of the strongest builds we've seen competitively this entire year out of all the evolutions. So consistent, so uh, oppressive from time to time. Gardevoir, you're uh, gonna cancel out the mouse Okay, one for oh, one, one at least, excellent. that's fine. That is how you shut down One for one, sure. Yeah, that's exactly that was kind of weird though. That was the uh, Unite from the Phalanx earlier, actually. Yep. And uh, same exact strategy. Hey, if you're gonna go one for one, you're gonna get KO for, or, you know, carry XP for all those Pokemon. That was a great exchange for oh. a lot of the Oak Kittens. Picture perfect from Elmo Girl as well with the moon blast stun while uh, while Black is trapped inside that mean look and that means every single hit from Psy Shock will be landing I and mean, the immediately 100% to zero that Mew. I'm uh, I'm actually almost surprised that we're seeing Psy Shock when we're getting so many guaranteed hits. But I mean, regardless, nah, future side is just matter. bad, man. We don't play future side. We don't play future side. No, no, no. I get the teleport back if they get the opportunity. They're actually going to use the unite. Are here. they going to use this? G? How low is Reggie? Can they get it? Again, Blaze again? No, he's just stunned permanently. Oh, but Slash gets it. Okay, Slash. Yeah, Psy Shock is uh, we get a set. lot of damage, but predictable. Ah, it's bad now, okay. Right? So we have Slash. <coughs> and they get big overcap happen. Espion is trying, but Espion is alone. Like, there's no way he can defend. Up four targets, but at this point, it's just 70 points going time. in. Muck is on the other side of the map trying to okay. score. And Talonflame trying to defend that Reggie like you're on the top side. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah, so far, lead as far as points go to G. And like you mentioned, uh, with the Sableye, that's really what they want to do. But strangely enough, it's kind of the opposite. Usually with Sableye, it's like, yeah, you're losing fights, but you're winning the score. Dewakins has been winning fights and then a losing score but it's like not bad it's just a strange way again for a sableye game to play out in my eyes it's been close it's also stressed out these teams i mean they have been very aggressive <laughs> on scores we have seen both uh slash you and just asked us and I, what, what i just look at comfortable positions but it's because they've been trying to get constant point pressure uh so they're making that risk for the goal zone play Big what is happening on. we have that double team switcheroo from Zelda what is Mesmero. happening avoid any hit from that guard of war yeah, Zealot playing more of the invasion game than anybody else this time around, kind of living in that. What was that? Twenty seconds I just saw. Center area, doing a great yeah, job. I, I, you know, it might be well. nervous, definitely. Uh, but the defense team has always been there. Uh, again, that's kind of the deal kitten style. They do travel together a lot. You can see their entirety of their team is kind of collapsing up top here. Not that there's even an objective quite yet. Thirty seconds from now, but uh, they're looking for just one <clears> little <throat> pick, and that would be scary. I think they're trying to bait. They're trying to bait there with the save line movement. I like it a lot. 
Yeah, good confuse rate on the Zell. It's before the flower trick, so it's not even. Oh. All oh. right, Monk gets that. <laughs> they have a lot of damage. Big KO. Talonflame trying to chase down. They, they have a lot of damage. Auto, but it will be a retreat. One and done, but good luck from DOL Kittens. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. That is a very cheeky little bait. They're going to get KO'd there. Uh, Chad will be, but not for. Uh, I mean, again, it doesn't really matter. You're kind of going for that. And this top red Jaleki is still there. There's 29 seconds left until the final stretch. So uh, I'm surprised that we didn't see DOL Kittens challenge a little bit more, but they want to win the fight again. This is the weirdest non-scoring Sableye comp ever. They're just trying to win this final fight, and I think a lot of it could be... I mean, the Sableye is not meant for scoring. Like what? A lot of true hitter misses for them. Yeah, Chad's main job has been trying to slow down this Meow Skarada with Confuse Race. That has been what they... It's even people think you pick Sableye for scoring, so you just, you just pick it to set up chaos. Job. Well, maybe not. Huge Horn Leech picks up I mean, but no one is there. Team Woodhammer. Carnivore Unite move hits absolutely the, uh, nobody. Uh, huh? America, and if, if he spot and now G are in a great position as the final stretch begins. Oh, they, they've, they've got the ability to try to push down as fast as possible. They actually are going to catch out uh, at least one more member. Can they mean look him? Running away Can they reach? Hoopa and Bone has to come out to maybe to save him. One more nope, KO no Hoopa and Bone to save him? Okay. Over on Sobe, I thought they would just port him out. Try and get away. Um, what is he doing? Hoopa? What HP? Here. Why is Hoopa oh, there? Last huh? from Agnoop to pull oh. people back in, but it looks like this is kind of going to be a disengage from both sides. Yeah, trades being, uh, or stuns being traded I'm, between Agnoop and Lost right on this fight. Okay, Slash finds the Woodhammer. Okay, Town is gone. The Town Flame is going to be caught out in the enemy central area. Make a fuse ray on a Slash is pulling them away, and Muck is trying to finish the KO, but they cannot quite do it with Gardevoir trying to chase a behind. But that Mew is playing such great interference. Black is so aggressive because they're playing so safe, and that Mew boost is going to do a ton of damage to Gardevoir. One Unite apiece available, not including Blaze again. We've got the Trevenant Unite. They said 50 seconds, one backhead uh, wins, so... Uh, G says to do something, they can't just be uh, AFK or like passive. Soon. Less than a minute left, last chance for DOL Kittens. They need to make this happen. One Sabler backhead and the game might be over. Pushing in huge size shocks. They're gonna go for Slash, Slash is gone, the Gumbo Unite. But well, they just start two Unites for him. We're not gonna need the Town Flame, it's gonna be 5v4 though here in this fight. Hoopa's gone, Hoopa's gone. It's all on just the Trevenant. And, and currently placed 25 seconds left. Yeah, you can't do right though, right? Townflame does get two. There's only 24 seconds left. But Tom's going to score. Mew's going to score. Umbreon is going to score. Black trying to respond. Uh, what is the math on this? Is Blaziken able to score? Now Blaziken will score, right? Blaziken will score. Okay, okay, okay. Hallelujah. That's a 2 0 by G, but I feel like it was very unconvincing, man. That was so unconvincing. Again, at a scoring race. These nah, I don't think they can. They don't think they're happy about this. Be, Maybe they are because they won, but like. Yesterday will continue to move forward oof. and guarantee them that was definitely not that in the final stretch. Oh, they are the way they want to play, I'm pretty sure. Game away position before they get qualified for the world. It's Got locked it. in the save lie. They locked it in, guys. They just locked in the save lie. Nah. I'm sure he went sky high. Yeah, nah, so they looked in the same. <laughs> Uh, no, this time, no. Yeah, this is a little okay. bit much, uh, but okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it the banana <laughs> playing Sableye? Of course it is, right? Choice in the last game, so I totally get it. Is it the banana? Well. Uh, so is Espeon, like you mentioned. Banana Sableye player? So incredibly good. <laughs> yeah, it's also going to work out with this kind of like early game. Of course, man. Of course, style. banana. Be able to back up some of the annoyance, I think, from this. Good one. Sableye. Okay, so if you're playing double mage with no healer locked in so far, of course, Muck can okay. use that wish healing. But we need some... We okay, we go zero I healer. Say, but uh, defender, yeah, we go Espion Gado without there. backline? Okay, they go Muscarada. They run back with Muscarada. Uh, okay, I don't know if I believe in this, though. Garados, I don't know why they go double attacker with it. I guess I'm going to remove my webcam and I'm just going to eat while I still talk, okay? All right? Just so you know. So make some noise, NAIC. Make some noise. kittens face off against G. The OL Kittens did play so well. Again, it, uh, they were in control of that last game. They absolutely were, but the clutch factor was just too much from OG. So it yeah, D disappointed like me, though. I thought they would loss. just, like, crush them. Play absolutely, play the but they they no. Clutch it out just a little bit, things will go well. But of course, they we played pretty bad last game. game. Always when there's a Sableye on screen. Oh, of course. Yeah, Chad rocking the sparkle spray as mm -hmm. well. Effect on the Hollower looking so pretty in that Jester style. Wow, I just can't look away. I think Chad's actually had the most sparkle scooper spray of the day. We need that from our stats team, please. I think that was Spraggles, actually. Oh, yeah, probably he is in real life. <laughs> uh, but you look at this, actually playing a what little bit. What is Sableye doing? I don't know. On that Sableye, stopping uh, the aggression here from this pre-treat. 
Yeah, actually, interesting note about G's composition. Three Pokemon are running stacking items. So even the Trevenant, the Defender play from Slash, will be rocking that Aeos cookie. Some players prefer the early shielding of Resident Guard. Some players prefer the higher maximum HP pool of the Aeos cookie. Yeah, what bit is he going, like I guess? Probably, going it has to be knocked yeah, off Confused, I, I right? right? Aeos cookie has been doing really well on a lot of Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Even Pokemon that we don't expect it quite as much recently, but uh, of course, they're going to be fighting for all the Altaria. Didn't seem like too much of the experience with the DOL Kittens, but of course, I mean, there's four people stacking. Well, they seem so just ignoring Taranta. And once again, uh, we are going to see no a Tita. lot of usage out of the Hoopa. This time from the other side, though. Okay, DOL Kittens doing this play <clears> with a <throat> pull off and bite G hmm? onto their goal zone and then try to punish as quickly as they can. Having a tough time KOing Zealot. However, we do have the KO to the Mew and now the Mouscarada goes down next. So DOL Kittens with a very good counter punch in this early game. They are going to need it. They got to take some, I feel like, momentum, right? I mean, especially if you're using Sableye. I always say this. If you're using Sableye, of course, they get the little defensive KO. But if you're using Sableye, you kind of have to be winning from the first moment of the game. He has anti-healing. The two-minute mark. Otherwise, yeah. it's I mean, not really okay, working. Yeah. Right now, we are going for a little bit of invasion. Did manage to steal away that blue Oh, that Moonblast missed by so much. Holy. On that. Let's Elliot get away. Obviously, very hard to lock down. But at the very <clears> minimum, <throat> still some of that EXP. Of course, Watch yeah, that. those early moments are so important, especially as we move towards our bigger team fights that tend to begin around that seven minute mark. At least we tend to see a full v4 at most of those situations. That is Miss Chris Cam, I'm currently eating look, dinner. A little bit of a portal so. a little later, but a little too late. Yeah, just I'm still here though, I'm here. Trying to not be in the bad just circle, having food. in the good circle yeah. instead. And unfortunately, it was all the bad circle right there. Uh, right now though, uh, they're chasing down the user of that bad circle, that Umbreon, uh, gonna land the wood hand but again, that's kind of the target that you want to get. I mean, Moon Blast into Blaze, it can be Scarada is pretty, uh, a great hallway, by the way. Pretty good, eh? Spray. Uh, that is going to be so, so scary. You don't want to get anywhere close, because now one mean look, and you are done so. A rare misstep from Slash there to actually eject button in with the wood hammer stun, but there was no damage to really back them up in that yeah, spot. A rare mistake did we see last Slash game, what Slash did? What was I mean, like... Away. It's a pretty tough one to lose. Slash is not locked in. are getting a lot of scores in on that top side. Is, is Reggie like you going to be that more threatening? Obviously, against a Sableye composition, you really want to play for your score line. You do not want Sableye to uh, amp up a lead that is already getting ridiculous. Do you think he's trying too hard? They Maybe. Are trying to scale a Gardevoir at the same time, and that is going to be a big Reggie secure on the bottom side to help do that job. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about the DOL Kittens comp is that I feel like when we usually see Sableye, it's along with a lot of other early game Pokemon, but uh, specifically like seeing a more later game like Talonflame and the Gardevoir is going to be really strong, not as much early game. So it's, a, it's an interesting comp. Oh, 100%. Now, okay, some more stacks going in. Egg is going to go down uh, for it, so uh, very aggressive. I, I feel like Jiggy's inting so much in the series so far. Out. And now it is just Again, like, we are going in one with Slash, hello! So threatening at any given time. G has to play uh, Slash? spread out whenever they know Gardevoir has it. And thanks to some, not the most so recent, but my recently son. recent balance patch, that Gardevoir can He goes in one with four. Yeah, only like four months ago, pretty recent. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't remember exactly how recent, but yeah, you can use right. it so much. Uh, and we've seen a lot of good, really <coughs> strong ones used. Last uh, game as well. He was just uh, one v four the entire game the somehow. You're not really caring about all that much. Psychic oh. Solaire tried to get the combo, but that little bit of a knockback from it, Psychic Solaire is a little bit weird to. He's uh, not beating the allegations. It's always directly <laughs> outwards, right? So it's just a little bit off angle. Yeah, so we're going to make sure they clean up the job themselves, though, on that oh boy. sword power Espeon. One of the strongest builds we've seen competitively this entire year, out of all the evolutions. So consistent, so uh, oppressive from time to time. Gardevoir, you're uh, going to cancel out the Maelstrom. Okay, one for oh, one at least, expert. that's fine. That is how you shut down One for one, sure. Yeah, that's exactly that was kind of weird, though. That was the uh, Unite from the Phalanx earlier, actually. Yep. And uh, same exact strategy. Hey, if you're going to go one for one, you're going to get KO for, or, you know, KO XP for all those Pokemon. That was a great... Great exchange for oh. the Oak Kittens. Picture mean perfect from Elmo Girl as well with the Moon Blast stun while, uh, while Black is trapped inside that mean look and that means every single hit from Psy Shock will be landing and the immediately 100% to zero that Mew. I'm, uh, I'm actually almost surprised that we're seeing Psy Shock when we're getting so many guaranteed hits but I mean regardless nah, Future Side is just matter, bad man. We don't play Future Side. We don't play Future Side. No no no. I get the teleport back if they get the opportunity they're actually going to use the Unite. Are here. they going to use this? She? How low is Reggie? Can they, they get it? Again, Blaze again. No, he's just stunned permanently. Oh, but Slash gets it. Okay, Slash. 
Yeah, Psy Shock is uh, he gets a lot of damage, but predictable. That's ah, bad now, okay. Right? So we have Slash. <coughs> and they get Big Overcap in. Espion is fine, but Espion is low on. There's no way he can defend. Up four targets, but at this point, it's That's 70 points going in. Muck is on the other side of the map trying to okay. score. And Talonflame trying to defend that Reggie like you're on the top side. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah, so far, lead as far as points go to G. And like you mentioned, uh, with the Sableye, that's really what they want to do. But strangely enough, it's kind of the opposite. Usually with Sableye, it's like, yeah, you're losing fights, but you're winning the score. d has been winning fights and then a losing score but it's like not bad it's just a strange way again for a stable -like game to play out in my eyes it's been close it's also stressed out these teams i mean they have been very aggressive <laughs> on the scores we have seen both uh slash you and just asked us and I, what, what i just look at comfortable positions but it's because they've been trying to get constant point pressure uh so they're making that risk for the goal zone play Big what is happening on. we have that double team switcheroo from Zelda what is Mesmo happening avoid any hit from that guard of war yeah, Zealot playing more of the invasion game than anybody else this time around, kind of living in that. What was that? Twenty seconds I just saw. Center area, doing a great yeah, job. I, you know, it might be well. nervous, definitely. Uh, but the defense team has always been there. Uh, again, that's kind of the deal kitten style. They do travel together a lot. You can see their entirety of their team is kind of collapsing up top here. Not that there's even an objective quite yet. Thirty seconds from now, but uh, they're looking for just one <clears> little <throat> pick, and that would be scary. I think they're trying to bait. They're trying to bait there with the save line movement. I like it a lot. Yeah, good confuse rate on the Zell. It's before the flower trick, so it's not even. <laughs> oh. All right, Muck gets that. <laughs> they have a lot of damage. KO, Talonflame trying to chase down. They, they have a lot of damage. Auto, but it will be a retreat. One and done, but good luck from DOL Kittens. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. That is a very cheeky little bait. They're going to get KO'd there. Uh, Chad will be, but not for. Uh, I mean, again, it doesn't really matter. You're kind of going for that. And this top Reggie Lecky is still there. There's 29 seconds left until the final stretch, so uh, I'm surprised that we didn't see DOL Kittens challenge a little bit more, but they want to win the fight again. This is the weirdest non-scoring Sableye comp ever. They're just trying to win this final fight, and I think a lot of it could be... I mean, the Sableye is so for scoring. What? A lot of true hit or misses for them. Yeah, Chad's main job has been trying to slow down this Meow Skarada with Confuse Race. That has been what they... It's even people think you pick Sableye for scoring, so you just, you just pick it to set up chaos. Well, maybe not. Huge Horn Leech picks up I mean, but no one is there. Team Woodhammer. Carnivore Unite move hits absolutely the, uh, nobody. Uh -huh? America, and if, if he spot and now G are in a great position as the final stretch begins. Oh, they, they, they've got the ability to try to push down as fast as possible. They actually are going to catch out uh, at least one more member. Can they mean look him? Can they reach? Hoopa and Bone has to come out to maybe to save him. Yes. Nope, no Hoopa and Bone to save him? Okay. Over on I thought they would the just port him out. Try and get away. Um, what is he doing? Hoopa? What HP? Why is Hoopa uh, there? Huh? From Agnoop to pull oh. people back in, but it looks like this is kind of going to be a disengage from both sides. Yeah, trades being, uh, or stuns being traded I'm, between Agnoop and Lost right on this fight. Okay, Slash finds the Wutemmer. Okay, Town is gone. The Town Flame is going to be caught out in the enemy central area. Make Confuse Ray on a Slash is pulling them away, and Muck is trying to finish the KO, but they cannot quite do it with Gardevoir trying to chase a behind. But that Mew is playing such great interference. Black is so aggressive because they're playing so safe, and that Mew boost is going to do a ton of damage to Gardevoir. One Unite apiece available, not including Blaze again. We've got the Trevenant Unite. They said 50 seconds, one Beckhead uh, wins, so... Uh, G says to do something, they can't just be uh, AFK or like passive. Soon. Less than a minute left, last chance for DOL Kittens. They need to make this happen. One Sable Beckhead in the game might be over. Pushing in huge size shocks. They're gonna go for Slash, Slash is gone. The Gumbo Unite? But well, they just start two Unites for him. We're not gonna need the Town Flame. It's gonna be 5v4 though here in this fight. Hoopa's gone, Hoopa's gone. It's all on just the Trevenant. And, and currently plays 25 seconds left. Yeah, you can't do raid though, right? Townflame does get two. There's only 24 seconds left. But Tom's going to score. Mew's going to score. Umbreon is going to score. Black trying to respond. Uh, what is the math on this? Is Blaziken able to score? Now Blaziken will score, right? Blaziken will score. Okay, okay, okay. Hallelujah. That's a 2 0 by G, but I feel like it was very unconvincing, man. That was so unconvincing. Again at a scoring race. These nah, I don't think they can. They don't think they're happy about this. Be, Maybe they are because they won, but like. Yesterday will continue to move forward Oof. and guarantee them that was definitely not in the final stretch. Oh, they are the way they want to play. I'm pretty sure. One game away position before they get qualified for the world.